Is this even? Oh, it does not look very even to me. I'm actually scared. I want to stop. Oh, no. They look even. Holy shit. Hi, beautiful. Thank you, Lifen, for sponsoring today's Hair Just Her Reacts. So we're gonna go for a bit of a ride today. We are gonna cut my hair. I woke up this morning, got on YouTube, and on my homepage was a Brad Mondo video. <sighs> I don't know why I get so nervous when people say that. So we're starting off with a tutorial by me and she's gonna follow it. I just am like not in the mood to watch somebody try and follow my tutorial. Every time somebody records it, it feels like it goes terribly wrong. And I know there's a lot of you out there with a Brad Mondo tutorial haircut and it looks fire because I've seen them in person. But for some reason, whenever you guys record them, it's just a disaster. And found myself on a how to cut your own curtain bangs. My hair is McFuck fried. Look at that. It is dead. Those ends need to be cut the house down boots. Like, babe, those ends are dying to be cut off. Holy sh**. They are fried. Boom. Down to the floor. Never been worse. Awful. Holy sh**. Get it off your- Whoa, okay. <laughs> that, was a little, that was like a little bit much. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna chop that off, give myself a little bit of layers because I found someone's YouTube channel that just made me feel so confident in cutting my own layers. <laughs> Not mine, apparently. It seems like she's following somebody else's tutorial. Fair enough, I can't win them all. But I think this sounds like a great idea. She definitely needs to cut that hair off. She needs a good like three inches or so, cut off those ends. It'll look so much better and have so much more life to the hair if she just does that. Make sure to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Actually, yeah, like and subscribe to me. If you want hair her reacts to continue till I die. Give this video a like. And if you don't want me to die, subscribe. See now, if I die, it may be one of your faults. That would be pretty sad to have to live with that guilt. It's up to you though. So I rewatched the video. She said, start at the middle of the brow. So this is like at the end of my brow. This one is at the middle. I don't have a lot to say yet because I actually have no idea where she's going with this. We're taking a horseshoe out of the top of the hair. I don't really know. I thought she was cutting her length. We're doing the bangs first. Are we doing the front? Are we doing layers unsure so she said the way you cut this is by just going like that and like just tying it really close to your chest and then just like snip snip okay we're going with the tie in the front technique um you know it's not the worst idea ever if you bring all the hair forward though whoop bring it all forward and you cut it, you're gonna have that V in the back, you know? The hair is gonna get really long in the back and shorter in the front. Not really my cup of tea, not really my vibe, not really my thing, but if it's your thing, I say go for it. And clearly it might be hers, except I don't actually think she knows what effect she's going for, so I think something that looks decent is she's gonna be happy with. And this will look decent for sure. That was fucking anticlimactic. That was like one inch. Where's the rest? Cause that isn't gonna make a big difference now, is it? More is more, god damn it, go, damn it. Oh, I want more. Pretty even-ish, right? Huh? Huh? Ooh, and it feels healthy. All right. Guys, it's definitely gonna be even, right? If you pull the hair to the front and you cut it. But the issue happens when you push the hair to the back and you got these jagged lines. It's never the way it looks in the front. If you don't care the way it looks in the back, then guess what? It's definitely gonna be really easy to cut your hair at home because the back is the part where everybody struggles and it gets really scary and jagged. If I cut it here and then like let it go, let's just not even think about it. Let's just do it. Who cares? Don't even think about it. I mean, honestly, I feel like if you even think about it, it's not gonna come out good. <laughs> Sorry. But I feel like I just have no hope. I cannot wait for those ends to fall to the motherfucking floor because they are dry as hell. Is this even? No. I can't see, but... Okay, um... Oh, it does not look very even to me. Oh, no. Basically, what's happening right now, she took a horseshoe section, a horseshoe section, and she's pulling the hair forward, over-directing it, and cutting. When you lay the hair back down, it's gonna be a mess. The over-direction from the back is adding length. The shortest part of the hair is gonna be up here, which is fine. But why would you want, like, long and then shorter as they get to the front of her head? You could do this if you took, like, a section around the perimeter like this and pulled it all forward, because then it would be, like, like face framing and we get short and long, but this sectioning doesn't make sense to me. I don't really know where she's going with this. It barely looks like anything. Let's cut a little more. Oh my God. How many times have I just done that? Okay, the reason I keep doing that is because she says, don't like go like this. You have to go like this. How am I supposed to see what I'm doing? Yo, how are you gonna cut that 
blind. By the way, another person cutting their hair dry. It'll never stop you guys. The dry hair pandemic is never gonna stop. <laughs> Until I die. I can't even tell if it did anything because my hair is so straight. I cut off like a lot of dead hair. Do more, do more. Now let's get on to the main event, the curtain bang. You're supposed to do like a triangle, I guess, and not too far back. So I guess right here. This doesn't seem like a lot of hair. This is like three strands. We should do more. To be honest, I feel like this is not enough hair. Let's just do the most. All right, now we're talking. It feels thick. She said to part it in the middle. That's close enough. And then take like two tiny sections from each side and then pull it forward. Oh my God, this is like thick. She said not, don't do thick. Like, is this too thick? No, actually, I think that's a great amount of hair for a curtain bang. It's not too thick, not too thin. Just like me. I'm low-key getting a little thick though, come on. I gained some weight, so for you ladies. Anybody uh, wanna leave your number down below? You know what? It's better safe than sorry. Let's start over. No, you had it right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go long first, see how it looks, and then do it. That's always a good idea though. To start long, you can always go shorter. Well, that's really long. Really, that, that looks kinda even. So where's the over direction here? You know, the biggest key when cutting your own curtain bangs, take it from one side, bring it to the other and cut it a diagonal. That's how you get some nice blended sweeping curtain bangs. And I think we all know that by now, right? Let's just say right. She said, no, I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna take the hard path and try and do some slide cutting. That's difficult to do yourself. Let's go shorter. I think I wanna like try up here. Now you're supposed to follow it down. Baby, no, please stop. Please. All right, um, something's not right. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, something's not right. Maybe every thing you just did wasn't right. I don't know. They are like straight across. They need to be like this, not like this. Are they even? No. Let's see what I, oh my God. No. You know what? Let's just uh, take this section right here and just add layers to it. Uh. Start snipping away. Okay, so if you want to slide cut your hair like this, you open up the shears all the way and you use kind of like the corner, the inner corner. I don't know how else to say it, but the inner corner of the shears. And you then just slowly close them as you go down the hair. You don't take the, the front of the shears and just clip little chunks out and make little steps. We're not going for steps. We're going for layers. Why do I feel like it's getting worse? <laughs> This is horrible. What? What am I doing? Just stop. It looks at this point. It looks like you have a bob in the front of your hair. Let's just do it again. You know what? Let's just stop. <laughs> That's a great idea. Just stop. Oh my god. What is? No, please stop. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna come back when I'm feeling better. Sounds good, I'll see you then. I think I'm just gonna freehand because that turned out so well for me. I cut more like hair on this side than I did on this side, but I like this side more. I think I'm gonna have to just f this one up so it could be even, so it could look like I meant to do that. All right, equally fed up. Please stop. Cutting, please. I'm actually super surprised. It came out really well. Like the layers looked good. Yeah, they're a little uneven, especially the curtain bangs, but it's manageable. You know, you just go like this and nobody, nobody knows. They could see it, but not when I go like this. Honestly, I'm super happy with it. This is a way better haircut than what I did before. Again, not perfect, but decent. Okay, <laughs> is it so much better than what she had before? I would say yeah, like 20% better. So I'll give her that. Is the haircut good? No. Did the styling really help pull it all together? Yeah, and for that I say congratulations. 
I don't know what I'm congratulating, but yeah. Great job at don't do that again, ever. Awesome job. You know what will bring this look together and maybe make the layers look okay? A good blow dryer. And there's no better blow dryer on the market than my favorite, Life. So there are two main reasons why I love Life and so much, and that is because their blow dryer is actually phenomenal. And second of all, because they let me do dumb sh like bedazzle their blow dryer while I tell you how much I love the blow dryer. They're like, Brad, do whatever you want, we trust you. And I'm like, I got you. Let me get a bedazzling kit. Let's get to it. I'm not f around when I tell you this blow dryer is the best. Not only is it the best blow dryer on the market right now, but it also is the most well priced blow dryer on the market for what it is and the technology inside of it. This thing will last you a lifetime, if not a lifetime, a lot, a lot of years. Sorry for interrupting, but this is a lot harder than people make it look online when they do it. Um, this is complicated. <laughs> By the way, you guys, a lot of brand deals are scripted. We all know that, right? There's a lot of transparency at this point with brand deals and how they work. We're told to say a lot of things, but Lifen gives me free reign every time because they know that I love their products so damn much and I can just talk and talk and talk about it. Even if I'm not recording a YouTube video, I'm actually talking about this blow dryer to all my friends and everybody who works for me. This is an incredible piece of equipment. It feels amazing. It looks sexy. It is so powerful. Your hair will dry faster than ever before. And it comes in all different colors to match your aesthetic and your vibe and obviously I had to bedazzle mine because why the fuck not it's more fun like that this thing will change your hair game it'll make hair so much smoother so much silkier so much healthier and frizz free oh my god it's so sparkly I'm so fucking Gay. Oh my god, I just remembered. Even if you're a professional out there, this thing will do so good on your client's hair. This is the only blow dryer I currently use, and I love it for everybody. And it works like a charm. There's also versions of this blow dryer that come with a professional nozzle that is a little bit skinnier than this, and I use that one all the time. This thing is magical, powerful, innovative, and very well priced. All right, I finished bedazzling. You want to see the finished result? <laughs> I've never loved a blow dryer more in my entire life. Not only is it a life and blow dryer, but it's a bedazzled life and blow dryer. This came out better than I ever thought it would. Why was that so easy? And why does this look so sick? Oh my God. Should I shut the lights off and show you guys too? Whoa. Oh my God. Look at this thing, guys. Best arts and crafts project I have ever done. Imagine just showing up to a blow dryer appointment and being like, this is my Bedazzle Life and I love this thing so much. Make sure to take advantage of my special offer with the link right down below and get your Life and Blow Dryer now. Bedazzle optional, but highly recommended. <laughs> life and you give me life. All right, let's watch some more painful DIY haircuts. I'm back in my bathroom. Do you know what that means? We are cutting my hair today. I'm going to spray my hair, make it all wet because I have naturally curly hair and you can already see it's already trying to curl. So spray. <laughs> <laughs> she wet her hair. Yeah! This is what we're going with. So, the goal today is to do face layers, like have layering, face framing. Yeah, uh, I mean, your hair is long and heavy. It desperately needs layering in every direction. Face framing, regular layers, fucking fringe and layers and bangs and layers and things. Every layer we can get, we want it on your head, is what I'm trying to say. But before I continue, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed... Yeah, hit the subscribe button to me too. Or else I'm gonna die. Shout out to Brad Mondo because I'm gonna be watching one of his tutorials on how to do like face framing, just layering in general because my hair is boring. Uh, hi. Hi, it's me. You said my name, I'm here. Hey, hopefully this goes well for us. Nice meeting you. If it doesn't go well, we never met. Now that I have my sections, I don't think I'm gonna go too short with the layers. I think I'm gonna go to my chin level. I'm liking the technique so far. We're taking the sections from all the way back here, boom, right behind the ears, and we're probably gonna pull everything forward, which is something that I would teach you how to do. Wow. You're welcome for that one. Let's see how it goes though. This is my middle and I'm making sure I'm holding it super duper straight. I did it. The only reason
reason why I'm a little bit worried at this point, because everything's going well, but it says fail in the title. Like big, bold, fail. So what's gonna happen? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so much hair. Look how long my hair was. Yo, she's going for a chop. Like a huge, major, major chop. Woo, baby! So now that I've cut that, this strand is gonna be my guide for the rest of my hair. I'm gonna grab another section of hair. I'm holding it. I am going to find the shortest piece of hair. And then I'm gonna cut it. Ah! Here we go. I'm so scared. Oh. Listen, that was a whole lot of hair. Holy shit. Oh God, wow. Okay, Um. sick. I mean, I love it. Like, I'm glad she got rid of that. She just did not need that at all. It was doing nothing for her. That big ass, long piece of hair, nothing for her. Can you see the layers? We'll definitely fix it. These are the shortest pieces, so I'm gonna cut right there. All right, so we gotta we gotta over direct. While we're over directing, we have to really go across the side of the face. We shouldn't cut out this way, not this way, this way. All right, the hair from this side all the way over here. This is not gonna be great. <laughs> this is gonna look so bad. Ah, uh, yeah. This is not exactly how I taught you how to do it. This is not quite it. I'm actually regretting my decision for doing this. Okay, hold up. You see what's happening? How is that going like that? This piece got shorter than the other. Oh boy. <laughs> it's because you didn't over direct. You didn't over direct like I told you to. Pull it over. I have so much hair. All right, moment of truth. Is the next section gonna be done correctly? Because if she doesn't do it correctly, it's going to be one of the most horrible face framing layers I've ever seen. Like this is gonna get, this is gonna go downhill real quick. What is happening? This is not coming out right now. I'm actually scared, I wanna stop. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Like why is this piece so much shorter than the rest of the pieces? I don't get it. I don't know if I like this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Because he's doing this and he's pulling those pieces to the front of the head and then the short pieces are right here and he's cutting him. I'm just going for it. Like, what is this? <laughs> Listen, she's kind of doing it correctly. It's just that the layers are way too short. She started all the way up here and her longest layer is down here. You need a whole lot of over direction to make that work. I mean, like you should be taking that hair and doing it all the way over here. Otherwise the top layer is not gonna meet the bottom layer. We need to stop right now. If you guys can see in between all of these short pieces, there's random long pieces. What? Huh? How the f is she gonna fix this? No! Not above the fingers! Not above the fingers! No! It just keeps getting worse. Cut below the fingers! I'm kind of just like, why did I do this at this point right now? Oh my god! I don't feel like they're going down. <laughs> Did she say why? I don't know why they're not going down. I don't know why this video is so funny to me, but it's one of the funniest things I've ever watched. <laughs> she keeps just f your hair up so bad, but then she just keeps going with it, and it's so funny. Like, she knows it's just not good. I guess this side's a little bit better, but it's still pretty bad. When I straighten my hair, all you're gonna see is the choppiness. I kinda want my boring hair back. I'll take this over the boring hair she had before. I mean, the only way we can fix this really is by cutting the hair shorter. You know, actually, we could also take like a razor and we could really blend in those face trimming layers with the length. That's also an easier way to do that at home. But doing this technique is just not working for her at all. And I'm sorry, I failed you. Okay, she's kind of doing what I was just saying, which is like basically connecting the shortest layer with the longest hair. Using a razor for this is way easier, but you can also do with shears and slide cut, but we're not slide cutting correctly, but I'll take it because she needs to do something to fix this. 
and we're continuing to do the same technique that um, got her into this mess in the first place. And I don't know why. This is an absolute fail. So I need to literally cut my hair. Oh my God, what a disaster. Oh my God, it's like literally a bob in the front and long in the back. Oh God. I straightened my hair and this is what we look like. Literally awful. How did I mess up this bad? I literally followed him. <laughs> Should I not post this video? This is making me look really bad. It's called a DIY haircut for a reason. I am not responsible for your f ups, okay? But this is really bad. So it literally looks like I just have short hair and it's freaking choppy AF. And then you turn around, it's like, oh, a different person. So this is a failed video. This doesn't even look like me. Wait, we're leaving it like that? What are we gonna do? <laughs> this is fixable. The thing is, you had the odds stacked against you. You have very thick hair, you have very long hair. Those two things make haircuts very difficult. To do like something wispy and layered in a very thick, very long head of hair is not easy. You sort of followed the tutorial right, but you sort of didn't at all. You gotta thin out that shelf you have going on in the front. It's just way too thick. And that's what's making it look really boxy and like a bob in the front instead of like wispy layers. That was tragic. So as you can probably tell, my hair looks absolutely terrible. I'm ready to cut it. It's getting really long. I'm ready for a haircut for you too. I think you have beautiful hair. It looks shiny and luxurious, but it could look more shiny and luxurious if you just did a little trimmy trim, poop, poop, poop. However, the title also says, major fail. They have some scissors, thank God. We got hairstyling shears. We got hair cutting shears. We also have a straight hair, which I'll take. If I can't get wet hair, I'll take straight hair. And something tells me your hair is naturally curly. So if your hair is naturally curly, it's sometimes it is better to just cut it straight. If you're gonna wear it straight. If you're gonna wear it curly all the time, maybe don't do that. Those don't look like hair cutting shears to me. They look like arts and crafts scissors. I, I don't know about that one. So I watched a tutorial from a woman who looked like she knew what she was doing. It's not mine. Don't get me wrong, you guys. I would like you to follow my tutorials. I would. Most of the time, people only post the bad results just so I can watch it and react to it. So I feel like whenever anybody says I watched a Brad Mondo tutorial and it's just like, they're gonna try and do something wrong. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just get a little bit uneasy. I get a little bit unwell. Also, I'm not going to cut my hair while it's wet because I don't have straight hair. I have curly hair and yeah, it's not gonna work. And she is so real for that one. We're on the same track today. On the same railroad track going down. <laughs> together. Chicka, 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 choo. Let's see if we can choo choo all the way to the next station and get off at our right stop. Take the bottom section, right? I'm guessing this is the bottom section. She was like, cut it at an angle. Hold up, what the hell? This is a whole new thing. I've never seen this one before. I don't want dramatic layers, but I want layers and I don't want to cut that much off. Maybe like an inch and a half. Oh, baby doll. When you guys do your at home shit, the one thing you can deliver us is drama. Give us the dramatics. Give us the va va voozy vam 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 vi vave. I don't know what she meant by at an angle, like. Valid point, like what angle? Is it 90, is it 30, is it 180, is it 360, is it 1220? You know. At an angle, I feel like this is part of the top piece. What am I doing? I feel like this is the most random section she could possibly take. Like it's underneath her hair. I don't know exactly where we're going with it. Like why that section underneath seems difficult for no reason. That looks good. She said it's a point cut. Oh, snap. What is that? I just have no idea how this is gonna create any layers. I mean, it isn't. I don't know anything at this point. I'm just here for the ride, just like you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then she said to take this piece and brush it all together and then use that as a guide. That looks like I didn't cut anything off at all. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here! None of that looks right. Not even a little bit of that looks right. Not even a one little sliver. I don't even know what to comment on because I don't even know what she's doing. <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought we were cutting layers, but we're really just cutting length right now. It would have been just as effective if you just went, Ch I don't know. Now we're doing the other side. And then she said to like compare them. They look even. Why does it look like that? <laughs> Why does it look like one long hair and the rest short? And then the other side, the layers are going like in the opposite direction that they're supposed to go in, by the way. They're going this way and it's supposed to go in this way. No f clue what's going on. Y'all be f up your hair. Oh my God, that was like three inches. Honestly, though, seeing that dead ass 
hair, drop to that floor. Nothing in life gives me more satisfaction, except for like a few other things, but we won't talk about that here. We'll talk about that on my other page, link down below. There's no page link down below. Don't go down there, just watch the video. So now for the big reveal. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think it looks that bad. I just think that there were more split ends that I needed to cut. No, it does. It looks actually terrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Jagged, up everything but we are still going so now we have to comb it straight up i have no clue how short i want it it's like really long up here so you're like gonna go straight up like that and then cut straight across i'm gonna move it down a little bit more this makes sense she's gonna get some nice layering here but you're not cutting enough off to make a difference you're gonna need to cut a lot more than that that was a lot of hair that's so short all right, um, then she said take another piece and then use this as a guide. You guys, you're, you're making these layers way too hard for yourselves. You really can just pull all your hair forward. Like, it'll come out better than you trying to do like a hairdresser way of doing things. Keep it simple. If you want a really, really great technical haircut, go to a hairdresser. Otherwise, just pull the shit forward and cut it. Okay, I kind of see the guide. I am going to be shocked if this comes out good. So now here's the big reveal. <laughs> Put it back. It does the thing. Oh. The thing. <laughs> Hardly does the thing. It's not bad. Let me just sit in silence for a second and just watch the ending of this with you and let's just see how it ends up. I have no more comments left in me. That doesn't look so bad. I have one last comment. It is not even. One side is an inch shorter, babe. So this is the very finished look. I can't really tell if it came out good or not, but I got off quite a bit of split ends. Once I have other people analyze it, if it looks bad, I'll just go and get it done at the hairdresser. She needs to blow out her hair with some body and movement at the ends. That's how you really see layers come to life, all right? If you have your hair pinned straight, you're not gonna really see many layers. I do think it looks much better than what she started with, and she is right. Like, getting all those dead ends off really did help, and her hair looks even shinier and healthier now. So we'll take it. Next time, just do like a wolf cut. So much easier, and you'll get a better result, and it'll take half the time, and half the patience, and half the know-how. Well, you guys, make it easier on yourselves next time. Those are tragic. If you wanna check out my hair care line, or my hair color line, because I make the most fabulous, amazing, gorgeous products in the entire world and you will love them. You can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Love ya. And I'll see you next time. Bye.